What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. And today we're going 8-bit. That's right, I'm going to show you how to create a real cool, simple 8-bit effect. Plus, I've created you a 8-bit style title screen, which you can download from the link in the description completely for free import into Resolve and start using right now. As always, it is completely free, but if you do want to support me or say thank you, you can of course buy me a coffee by using the link down below, or a new thing, you can also join, you can become a member of this YouTube channel by clicking on the little join button, which is next to the subscribe button. Now one quick thing before we get into it, you do need to be on DaVinci Resolve 16.2 in order to import and use this title screen in the manner that I'm about to show you. With all that out of the way, let's get on the computer and I'll show you how to do it, shall I? With DaVinci Resolve closed, click on the link down in the description below and then download the .settings file and the .txt file from the folder. Once downloaded, you should see these two files on your PC. Now if we open up the readme.txt, this gives you directions and file paths for where you need to save the .settings file. So I'm on Windows, so I'm just going to copy this folder directory here and I'm going to paste it into my address bar, like so. And then I can just copy the .settings file and paste it into there. With that done, open DaVinci Resolve. Once in DaVinci Resolve, if we open up the effects library, we then go open up the toolbox, we go to generators, and then in the fusion generators, you should now see Mr. AT 8-bit title. So you can just drag that onto your timeline above any footage that you may have. We'll make that a little bit longer. And now we've got our 8-bit title screen. If we give it a click, open up the inspector, you can see here you can change the location, so you can change the center point. There's also a resolution, so we can make it look a bit more 8-bit, a bit more blocky, or we can make it look a little bit neater. Customize that as you wish. The game name is simply the text that appears here, so you can just customize that. There's fonts, there's colors, everything you should realistically need is all in there, you can just customize it to fit whatever needs you may have. Right, now I'm just gonna delete that for now so we can start afresh. Now on my timeline, I've already got this chess tournament motion graphic, but as you can see, it looks really clear, it's really smooth, so we're gonna add some 8-bit effects to this. And it's actually really, really easy. So the first thing we're gonna do, again, in the effects library, this time in the effects, we're gonna grab an adjustment clip, and we're just gonna put that over the top of our chess tournament. We'll make that the same length. And now we're going to go into the open effects. We're going to scroll down and we're just going to grab JPEG damage. We're going to drag that onto the adjustment clip. Now straight away you can see this adds a JPEG style compression effect to your footage. So then within the inspector, open up the open effects tab. And the ones we're going to mess with here are the quality and the resolution. Now what I like to do for this effect, drag the quality all the way to the right, all the way to 100, and then you can just increase the resolution to get it looking as you want it, however blocky you may want this to look. I'm gonna go with about, go with about eight. And then if you also want to add some additional quality compression artifacts, just lower that resolution and you get to see We've got some blocky effects here and the colors will start to look a little bit blocky. Just play with it until you're happy with it. So the next thing we want to do is come down to this stop motion. Now this is slightly different. What you have to do is drag the stop motion onto the footage itself and then release that. And again, give that a click, open up the inspector and then the open effect. If we increase this frame repeat number, it will become more stuttery. So there'll be a greater length of time between the stutters Whereas if we decrease it, it becomes a little bit smoother again. You can actually type additional numbers into here. So I can put 20 if I want and make it really, really jittery. So have a play with that. Again, get it looking as you want it. I quite like about seven or eight seems to work well. So I've done that now. I'm gonna grab my generators and my title screen. I'm gonna just plunk that above there like so and make it the same length. So now we've got our chess game screen looking something like that. And then there's a few extra little things you can do to finish it off. One thing I really like to do, I'm gonna click on the chess tournament. I'm gonna to go to color. 
Now there's loads of better ways of color grading and doing that sort of thing, but a real quick way to do this, click on number one, go to the saturation and just pump that right up. Now that looks much more like it, much more gamey. And then from there, we can just shoot back into the edit tab. And the last but not least thing I like to do, I'm going to grab another adjustment clip. This time I'm going to put it above everything. So it's actually going above my title screen as well, like so. We're going to give that adjustment clip a click, and then we're going to head into the open effects again. We're going to scroll down until we see grid, and then we're going to add a grid. Now it'll look like that by default, but don't worry. All you need to do, again, in the inspector, open effects. We're just going to change the row cells to 80, the column cells to 80, to give that real screen door effect. We're going to reduce the major line spacing to zero. We're going to change the line color to black, either black or like a light gray. Seems to work well. Let's go with about there and click on OK. And then we're just going to scroll to the bottom and where you've got global blend, we're just going to put that right up to really blend that in. We just want it to be barely visible, but just to give it a slightly more pixely look like so. And that's it. Now we've got a loading screen, which we can completely customize. We've got a jittery 8-bit looking saturated and pixelated background, and it's all pretty much ready to go. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, please pop them down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks ever so much for watching. Until next time, take it easy. See ya. <sighs> it's warm.